Today, we're going to become shape word experts. Get ready to learn new math words that will help you talk about shapes like a real mathematician. I'll show you pictures, give you clues, and you can say the word and do the motion. Let's go. A solid is a shape that is not flat. We say it is three-dimensional. You can hold it in your hands. It takes up space. Solid shapes include cubes, spheres, and cylinders. Let's say it. Solid. Can you touch something solid around you? A flat shape is one you can draw on paper. It is two-dimensional. This means it doesn't pop up. Like a circle or a triangle, say flat. Trace a flat shape in the air with your finger. A side is a straight line on the outside of a flat shape. It makes part of a shape. A triangle has three sides. A square has four. Say, side. Use your finger to draw a side in the air. A vertex is where two sides meet to make a corner. The plural is vertices. That means more than one vertex. Say, vertex. Touch your finger to a corner of your desk or paper. An edge is where two faces of a solid shape meet. You can feel edges on a cube or box. Say, edge. Run your finger along an edge of a block or book. A face is the flat part of a solid shape, like the side of a cube or the base of a pyramid. Say, face. Trace a square or rectangle in the air. It's a flat face. To compose means to put shapes together to make something new, like using two triangles to make a square. Say, compose. Pretend to click two puzzle pieces together. A rhombus is a shape with four sides that are all the same length. It looks like a diamond. Say, rhombus. Make a diamond shape with your fingers. Parallel lines are lines that stay the same distance apart, go in the same direction, and never touch. Say, parallel. Hold out both arms straight and level like train tracks. Those are parallel lines. A trapezoid has only one pair of sides that are parallel. Look at this trapezoid. See the pink lines? They are parallel. The green lines are not. A trapezoid kind of looks like a triangle with the top chopped off. Say, trapezoid. Draw a trapezoid in the air with your finger. An attribute is something we can use to describe a shape, like how many sides it has or how many corners it has. Say, attribute. Let's learn a little more about the word attribute. Color is an attribute because an attribute is any word you can use to describe an object. Size is an attribute too. But when we are talking about naming or identifying shapes, color does not help us figure out what the shape is. If I say a shape is red and big, can you tell me what the shape is with those attributes? No, you need to know other attributes, like it has three sides and three corners. These attributes are helpful in finding out what the shape is. We call these defining attributes. This chart shows us a list of some defining or helpful attributes and some non-defining or unhelpful attributes. Some defining attributes are the number of sides, number of faces, number of corners, and whether the shape is curved or straight. These attributes help us figure out what the shape is. Some non-defining attributes are the color of the shape, the size of the shape, and whether the shape is turned or flipped. None of these attributes will help us figure out what the shape is. Let's play a quick game. I'll show you a shape and give you three attributes. You have to pick the defining or helpful attribute, something that describes the shape. Ready? Here are three attributes for this square. It is blue. It has four sides the same length. 
It is smaller than a rectangle. Which one of these attributes is a defining or helpful attribute? It has to be an attribute that could help someone determine what shape it is. It has four sides the same length, is a defining attribute. It can help someone figure out what shape is being described. The color and size don't help in determining the shape. Here's another one. Which of these is a defining attribute for this triangle? It has three sides. It is taller than a square. It is green. It has three sides, is the defining attribute. Let's try one more. Which is a defining attribute for the circle? It is pink, it is small, it is flat and round. Being flat and round is an attribute that helps us determine that the shape is a circle. You did it, shape explorers. Let's review. A shape that pops out and is not flat is a solid. A place where two sides meet is a vertex. The lines on the outside of a shape are called sides. A shape with four equal sides that looks like a diamond is a rhombus. Parallel lines are lines that stay the same distance apart, go in the same direction, and never touch. A trapezoid is a shape with one pair of parallel sides. Something that helps describe a shape is an attribute. A defining attribute is something that makes the shape what it is. It helps us name and recognize the shape. Examples of defining attributes are number of sides, number of corners or vertices, straight or curved sides. A non-defining attribute is something we can notice about a shape, but it does not tell us what kind of shape it is. Examples of non-defining attributes are color, like red, blue, or green, size, like big or small, position, like turned, flipped, or sideways. Now you're ready to use your shape words like a pro. Click the link in the description to get a free worksheet to practice these words. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more engaging math and literacy videos.